Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Sephora VIB sale try on haul. I literally went to Sephora this morning. If you guys are familiar, Sephora does run a sale twice a year in the spring and the fall. You get 10% off if you are a beauty insider, 15% off if you are a VIB, and then 20% off if you're a VIB Rouge. And in order to hit those thresholds, you have to spend like a minimum amount of money to reach each tier. And I am a VIB Rouge um, because I love makeup, which we all know this. So I thought today would be fun to do a try on haul. I've done this, I think, for my last VIB sale haul, which I will link below. If you guys want to see me try on a bunch of the stuff that I got, don't forget to please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you know when I post. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. We are just going to take out things one by one. And for all the things I can't try on, I'm just going to obviously show it to you, but I'm not going to be able to try it on. Such as this face cleanser, which I am super excited about. It's the Innisfree Hydrating Cleansing Foam with Green Tea. Um, looks like this, you get five fluid ounces and this was $10. And it's free, it's a really amazing, affordable, I believe it's a K-Beauty brand. They're cruelty free, they have really good ingredients. I've tried a few of their products before, like their Volcano Clay Mask, I really, really enjoy. And um, this says it's a creamy cleansing foam with Jeju green tea that hydrates skin while whisking away dirt and impurities, leaving skin feeling refreshed. And when I looked on the Sephora app, I said it's good for oily, normal, dry combination skin, so it could work well for a lot of different skin types. And I love the packaging, I love a good cleansing foam. I think one of the main things people were commenting on was that this is pretty heavily fragranced and this does smell like their signature, I think it's the Jeju Green Tea Extract, which they also have in their cleansing oil and I think a few other of their products and it just smells like green tea, honestly. And it is a pretty fragrant product, but I, enjoy it. Fragrance, I don't find personally really irritates my skin as much, but I will try this out and definitely let you guys know how I enjoy it because I'm very, very excited. This is going to be like my nightly like in shower face wash. So the next product, hence why I am bare face, is the Biosance Squalane and Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen. If you guys watched my October favorites, you guys know that I spoke about my Bliss sunscreen. I will link that video above and below. And I literally ran out of it this morning. So it was perfect. I was like, okay, thank God. I'm going to go get a new sunscreen today. And typically during the sale, um, I like to try out different sunscreens based on, you know, ones that have come out that have a lot of hype that I think are great ingredients. And I only like using mineral sunscreen. So that means it's only zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Um, it's just a little bit more friendly to my kind of acne prone skin. I love Biosense. I actually have a try size. It's a sheer daily mineral SPF 30 sunscreen, non-toxic, all skin types, non-comedogenic, cruelty free, all that stuff. I love Biosans. I think they are a great brand. This is what the packaging looks like. You get one 0.7 fluid ounces for, I believe this was $30, which is a pretty average price point for sunscreen that you would find at Sephora. It really blends right into your skin. Like I have a little bit of tack to it, but you can see I obviously have a little bit of a radiance but I don't feel like it's super duper heavy. I don't have to put on moisturizer under my sunscreen because I naturally have oily skin. So yeah, it's sheer, lightweight. Um, I will say it does feel a little bit tacky. You can see I look definitely a little bit more radiant, but uh, we will see how that goes because I'm gonna put makeup on on top, but on a daily basis, honestly, all I wear is sunscreen. And if you are dry, you might really enjoy this because look at that luminosity. Granted, I have like two lights and like two windows here, so you can really, really see it, but um, as long as this doesn't get super duper oily or heavy, I will enjoy this because I like the feeling on my skin. Um, it definitely leaves a little bit more than the Bliss sunscreen, which is probably why I'm trying to dissect it a little bit more and like really understand how I feel because the Bliss sunscreen literally just like sinks in and you don't feel anything. So maybe if you have drier skin, you might really enjoy this, but I am excited to give this more of a go and yeah, love the packaging. Twice a year, especially around the holidays, maybe it's more often than twice a year, but really around the holidays, um, is when their like value and gift sets come out and they are phenomenal. They give you such good value, honestly. If you are shopping for yourself, for any of your friends or family and you wanna get them something, go to the value and gift set um, section online or if you go in store, it's usually like the first um, display that they have like right when you walk in. They have tons of different options. Basically every brand participates with something and I purchased two different gift sets. So the first one is a Sephora Favorites, which you get all of this for $54, okay? And it's $166 value. You get three full-size products. All right, ooh, okay. This is also a really heavy-duty box. Like, they spent a lot of money on this 
get a cart and look at all of the products. I'm so excited. And yes, granted, not all of them are cruelty free. However, a good majority of these products are. So let's get to unboxing. First thing is this beauty blender, which is why I wanted to unbox this because even though I don't have a new foundation, I can apply it with the beauty blender, even though we all, okay. We all know and love the beauty blender. Honestly, I wanted to buy a beauty blender during the sale anyway, so when I saw that they had it in the set, I was like, done, sold, amazing. So you get this full-size product, normally 20 bucks. Then you get a mini Grande Lash MD Serum, which I am using the mini size as well right now, and I was gonna get another one anyway, so I was like, this is perfect. I've raved about this lash serum before. I recommend it to my friends and my family. I really do see a difference in my lashes when I use this versus when I don't. I really enjoy this and this is a great size to travel with or, you know, to use on a daily basis. And then we have a mini Natasha Denona Biba palette, which her Biba palette is her bigger, I think like $65 like neutral palette. It came out I think like two years ago. Um, and so you get three everyday like mini essentials and I will swatch them for you right now. I have a few of the smaller Natasha Denona palettes but I mean, obviously her shadows are some of the best in the industry. And I like that even though these are only three shadows, you literally can travel with this and it's all you need because you have a crease shade, which is so important. Like a crease transition shade, you have an outer V or an outer corner deepening shade. And then you have a highlight shade, all over lid shimmer shade. And then of course you could use this to blow out your lower lash line, um, to line your eyes. So this truly is the perfect like on the go need a super quick snap look um let me do that snap again there we go and it's so easy i'm definitely gonna use this today as well and then here we also have a benefit 24 hour brow setter it's just a brow gel i don't use benefit because they're not cruelty free or i try not to use them but this is just a clear brow gel so um that is nice and then we have a nars laguna bronzer again not cruelty free unfortunately they were but then they reverted i'm not sure why but uh regardless can't deny that nars laguna is a classic bronzer formula this is gonna be great to travel with so i'll just throw it in my little like mini travel bag and then we have a full size where i'm super excited about this product the kosas wet lip oil in the shade uh dip which is a really nice pretty let's swatch it Ooh, it's a nice like rosy tone shade. I was looking for a lip oil anyway. Thing that I'm most excited for that I was gonna purchase on its own, I swear. They literally extracted this gift set out of my mind, pretty much. This is the Fenty Beauty um, mascara, full frontal mascara. This has been out for like, I think like a year, maybe two years. And everyone loves this mascara because it's like a really interesting flat wand, like you can, use it like this and then turn the wand over to get you know maximum um length and volume which i think is awesome so i am definitely excited to try this today and then um we also got a way leave-in conditioner way leave-in conditioner way is a great hair brand and um started by jen atkins celebrity hairstylist and um i'm excited to use this product it's just a leave-in conditioner and i will test it out and i will Probably throw it in my travel bag because you can never have too many conditioners, right? Then we have a mini Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer, which I am so excited because you guys know that I love the big size Milk Makeup Primer. And I actually did a video comparing this to the e.l.f. primer because um, they're very similar. And I will link that video that has like a demo and a wear test and basically like a battle of the two primers. I will link that video below and above so you can see me try those out side by side to see if you really do need to spend the money on this. But with something like a gift set and you get a mini size anyway, like it's totally worth it. So I really love this primer. And then finally, last but not least, we have this product, which is a Dr. Jart color correcting treatment. Oh, it's an SPF 30. Um, neutralizes redness and protects skin to improve skin appearance. It's tiger grass. Oh, it's literally sunscreen. Oh my God, how interesting. Hmm. It smells very, it smells good. It smells herbally. It smells like a spa. Hmm, interesting. I would have not thought this would have been a sunscreen. And it's a physical sunscreen. Oh my God, love that. Oh, again, a great product to travel with. These are just great mini essentials. And yeah, so that was basically the unboxing of this, which took up like half of the video in and of itself. So let's just start trying stuff on. Um, I will actually go ahead and apply my base because I didn't buy foundation or concealer. I am just going to do my face with um, this new beauty blender, you know, the spirit of today's video and trying as many new things as I can and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. So I realized that actually before we apply powder, 
um, we are going to apply blush. By the way, I look very radiant. I don't know if it's because I applied my makeup with a sponge, which I'm getting more and more back into. I love, I don't know, there's something so satisfying about pouncing a sponge with makeup into your face. Like, I don't know. And the Beauty Blender, she is the OG. She is the moment. I have so many dupes, like the Wet n Wild sponge I love, the Juno sponges I love, but there's something about the OG Beauty Blender that's like, chef's kiss. Anyway, I haven't worn this product for so long and I finally bit the bullet. I don't know. It's not biting the bullet. It's not even that expensive, but for some reason I never, I just, I never purchased it, but this is the Tower 28 Beach Please Luminous Tinted Balm and I got the shade Magic Hour. I love Tower 28. They make great glosses. This is a balm that you can put on your cheeks and your lips, but today we are going to use it as a, um, blush on my cheeks this is what it looks like and i wanted to buy this because i don't have like a cream blush that's like a pot it's so pretty and i just wanted like a compact little actual cream blush Ooh, it feels very emollient but oh my god wait that's so pretty you know what just for poops and giggles let's put it on the lips I'm just give me a little something sorry i have like a little bit of foundation on there but just a little something. It feels very mullion, but it dries down. I just want to take my cream blush brush. You can take any, um, I recommend like a dense synthetic brush because it'll really pick up the cream or the liquid better. And I'm just going to pop this in here and just dab that up. Oh, I love that. Dab it onto the cheeks. What I like about a product like this is that you can literally just dab it in there and then build it up and keep dabbing it in if you need as you see fit oh my god i love it i love it yeah this is extremely buildable they have a few different shades but i wanted to get the most like neutral and rosy one just to start fragrance free no pore clogging ingredients non-toxic allergy tested vegan and cruelty free dermatolog dermatologist dermatologist tested safe for sensitive skin i love it Look, I look very glowy. You know what, I'm not mad at this. I know glowy skin is all the rage and I have oily skin, so it gets glowy much to my dismay anyway, um, but in an oily way, because I have oily skin. But I'm not mad at this luminosity. I definitely need to set this down, which brings me to my next product, which I've also wanted um, pretty much since it came out. This is the Patrick Star One Size Ultimate Setting Powder. Patrick Star is an OG beauty guru here on YouTube and he is so funny. He it's just such an OG and he recently, I think like last year or maybe the year before came out with his makeup brand and I have wanted to try this powder more than anything because Patrick is known for baking. Like he does the most intense, full coverage, full glam, like beautiful makeup and he always like uses hella powder, like baking is his thing. So I trust that any powder he makes is going to be amazing. So I love the packaging too. Like it's this matte soft pink. It's not the be all end all and it shouldn't be like definitely the sole reason why you buy something let alone like the reason you buy something but i definitely do um understand like brands that want to come out with better packaging or nicer packaging um at a higher price point because it just you know it's it's people who want the experience if you want the experience if you want to spend a little bit more get it unless the product is complete trash hopefully this is not and i don't think it is based on reviews but it's a super fine 14 hour long wearing blurring setting power power powder made for a light bake to a heavy cake so i don't necessarily bake my face but you guys do know i like to set with um a velour powder so for a little bit it comes out of the middle as you can see right there into the cap this is a shade translucent by the way he does have pressed powders in a wide variety of shades but i just want to get the translucent powder and right here you can see it's not as i don't know if it's just like clunky because of the way but it's not as like fine and dusty it definitely looks more of like a baking powder if that makes sense so i'm just going to take and uh, you know what? i'm going to set my under eyes with this why not i'm going to take my velour puff and i'm just going to start pressing this into my skin okay you can see right away the difference between this side and this side this is still very luminous and glowy this is matte which is what i want because the whole point of this is to set down my skin so mmm Oh, my skin feels very smooth. I like that. I wanted to get a powder during the sale because honestly, my favorite translucent powder and the one I constantly reach for is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder, that loose translucent powder. I think that's like my favorite powder of all time. I love it so much. So I was like, let me try to see what Sephora's got in. I heard a lot of buzz about this. So I look very smoothed out. What do you guys think? I look very mattified, which was definitely the intention. And I look smooth and poreless i think i will really enjoy this the one thing that's throwing me off is the kind of like clumps in here it's like a little bit chunky and obviously it's powder so once you like blend it out it'll like 
dissipate and like into your skin but I wonder if it's just the way that this powder is like milled. It's definitely a little bit thicker than something like, I will show you like the Wet n Wild Photo Focus one. You can see it's just like very like finely milled and this one claims to be finely milled as well, but I see chunks. And again, when you blend it out, obviously it's going to come apart, so it's fine. But if you guys like see what I'm talking about, it's like kind of like chunky. If you guys can see it, there's like little balls. Anyway, not a deal breaker at all. I think the effect on my skin like speaks for itself. It looks, I look very smooth and very matte. So that's all I can ask for. And I am definitely looking forward to using that, using that more. Wow, I really enjoy it. I really like the effect. Okay, next up is bronzer. And we do have a new bronzer to try out. This is actually, it was a last minute impulse purchase. I wasn't planning on getting this, but I saw it in store and I heard, heard some buzz about it. And I wanted to try um, this from Huda Beauty. This is a glowish by Huda Beauty, which is like her sub brand. This is a soft radiance bronzing powder and I got the shade Tan Light. So yeah, let's open her up. I swatched it in store and it looks so beautiful. It is like a glowing bronzer, buildable tan, seamless application and velvet finish. Really, really nice packaging. Wow. Okay. I got tan light because in case I do, they had like a light and they had a medium and then I had a tan light. So look how pretty. That is. See, it's not super dark against my skin, but I am so excited to try this out right now. I'm just going to take this Juvia's Place um, brush and it's pretty buildable, I think so. Okay, what I'm getting at with this product because I, maybe it is baked or something, I'm not getting fallout. So you can literally just go in straight from the pan to your face and you're not gonna get like a harsh stamp of product right away, that makes sense. So it's very buildable. I think it looks pretty good, honestly. On camera, it's coming off a lot more warm than it is in person, but I am loving like the overall effect. It's not a super duper pigmented powder. If that's what you are looking for, you're not gonna get this, but it is made in Italy where they're known for really good like baked products. So um, this went on so smoothly, like so smoothly. I love that and i am so happy with this i will definitely try this out more and you guys always know when i film my monthly favorites that's when you know like if something i really really enjoy and pick up and use all the time um because you'll likely see one of these products in a favorites video if um i really do end up really loving it so let me just go ahead and uh apply my highlights super quickly um I'm just gonna pull out a random one let's use in the spirit of sephora becca champagne pop Cute. Okay, so the next product we have to try out is the Kosas Air Brow Fluff and Hold Treatment Gel. This has the coolest packaging in the entire world. I got the shade Brown Black because I do enjoy a darker brow because what I have found is that, especially when I do like a full glam look, um, having not having like a dark enough brow tends to like wash me out. So I really like to make sure that like my brows are prominent and you know able to be noticed. So um, today for today's video, I'm not going to fill it in with a pencil. I just want to really test to see how this works. So first of all, look at this packaging. Look at this packaging. It is the most like 90s, super cute, like I don't know, it reminds me of something, I just don't know what. But um, yeah, okay, cool. So it says use the flat side to fluff and taper point for precision. So, um, okay, moussey gel for feathery brows, boosted by hair care actives. All right, we're all for that. I believe this was like $22. Okay, oh, I see. If you look closely, it is kind of like a triangular wand. Can you guys see that? There's like a flat side and then you can turn it. So I'm not really sure if I'm gonna really be super cognizant of that, but we'll see. I'm just gonna hold it. Oh, I like that. It's not as dramatic as I was expecting it to be. I just dumped back in. But I like the formula a lot. I think it's depositing a good amount of color it's definitely a product that you have to build, but I like that because you don't get the super gunky like mess right away. I always prefer something more buildable. And that was a super easy product to use. Like it feels good in your hand. And I know it sounds strange for a brow product, but I have tried so many different brow gels. I love the Milk Makeup one. Um, that one is like my, the one that I purchased time and time again. But honestly, this might be coming for the crown because I do like the fact that you can really, yeah, you, know, you can turn it. So you apply it with the flat side, right, to fill in. But then if you want to fill in, like for example, I want to put it a little bit more 
on the top area that I'll just turn it and use the pointed taper tip for more precise application. <gasps> oh my God, I really like it. I think this might be my favorite product of the haul so far or one of them. And there's something about this like uh, square kind of packaging that feels really good to hold in your hands. I don't know, this is a pleasant experience. I'm so happy I bought this. I had been wanting it honestly for a while. I was gonna buy it in the last sale and then I didn't. So I'm so glad I bought it during this sale. 10 out of 10 would recommend. All right, so let's just move on to a quick little eye look. I'm gonna use the Natasha Denona Mini Biba Palette, of course. I'm just going to, like I said, do literally a simple look with these three shades that you can literally you can do a full-blown smoky eye or something more natural which is what we are doing today so i'm just going to take that middle shade on my morphe m504 and blow it all over the crease the transition area i feel like it's a trend to really take your crease or transition shade all the way up and then kind of leave a blank lid so you get like that cut crease vibe um i'm not doing that today obviously because i'm going to put the shimmer on but I think it looks super cute. That is a nice shade. Natasha Denona shades blend out. I didn't put on any eye primer. All I have is concealer and the Patrick Star powder. Okay, and then all over the lid, I'm just going to apply this shade right here. Actually, they have shades. Is it Monroe, Elle, and Coco? So I'm just going to apply this shimmer all over my lid. Very classic look, but you can't go wrong. Okay, and then on the outer corner, I'm going to apply this warm dark brown shade. Super, super pretty. Um, and I'm just going to take it on this Morphe M506 to really define the outer corner. And these shades are blending like a dream per usual. Wouldn't expect anything less from Natasha Donona, honestly. I feel like some palettes of hers are not as pigmented as others, but, or as easy to work with as others, but she overall has some of the best shadows just on all across the board. Let's flick that upward. All right, then I'm just gonna take my M504. I always have to do this because I have hooded eyes and just go over everything and blend the edges so nothing looks super duper harsh. All right, so that is the very basic simple eye look. Actually, wait, let me, from my lower lash line, take that dark brown again and just do like a little line just for some definition. And I'm actually going to run a little bit on my upper lash line as well. I don't know if you can get like something as small as this like by itself sold separately, but totally worth it in the uh, uh, kit. All right, so the mascara, I'm so excited to try it. I am going to curl my lashes. Where's my lash curler? And then for the sake of today's video, I am not going to apply a lash primer because I really want to see how well this mascara works. So um, let's just go ahead and tight line my eyes. I don't have a new eyeliner, but I am going to just take pencil liner, my favorite Essence flat side, and then you can kind of turn it, kind of like the Kosas one actually. So let's see. Okay, so right away I'm noticing it's not a super wet formula. I don't know if I'm just expecting every mascara to be as wet and dramatic as the It Cosmetics superhero mascara but this is definitely not as dramatic as i was expecting honestly but that doesn't mean it's a bad thing i mean you can definitely build it up which is what i'm doing right now but you can see they're not super duper dark and you don't get a lot of that volume i'll have to try with the lash primer to see but i'm trying to turn my wand so i apply the flat side and then i turn it for that curl and definition. Okay, now I'm getting something. You definitely have to build this mascara up, but with that being said, <gasps> my lashes are being separated so well. Oh my God, wait. I like the definition, but it's not as volumizing as I would like it to be. I think that's where I stand with this, but this does define your lashes like no other. I will say that. If you're not looking for volume, if you're looking for length and definition, this is an awesome mascara. It's definitely more of a natural formula in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts on this mascara if you've tried it down below. Okay, we are almost done, people. My last product to try, which I can maybe put the lip oil on top as well. This is a Too Faced Melted Matte Limited Edition um, Cinnamon Bun Liquid Lipstick. I feel like I love collecting Too Faced Holiday 
uh, Melting Matte Liquid Lipsticks. You guys know that I love Gingerbread Man. I love Gingerbread Girl. I love this formula in general. Too Faced makes amazing scented products. They have chocolate. They've done peach. They've done uh, pumpkin. They've done so many different things. So this one supposedly smells like fresh baked cinnamon rolls. And honestly, I was like, this is my perfect nude. I love a good deep nude. You can never have too many nudes. So I am very excited to try. Oh, I have mascara on my upper lid. This is what it looks like swatched. Really pretty deep nude. So let's go ahead and go in. Oh my God, I love it. Oh my God. It does smell like cinnamon rolls. This was $22. I love this color. I love the Too Faced formula as well because they're matte, but they're not super drying. They're very thin and comfortable. Oh, it's infused with a no sting plumping filler. Hmm. I don't know if I kind of feel like I like very briefly for a split second felt it. Just for poops and giggles, I am going to apply the Kosas lip oil on top. Ooh. Oh my God. That might be the prettiest combo ever. <gasps> I love it. And I'm looking at my skin in the monitor. I look so smoothed out and matte. Like this powder is really, really good. Yeah, okay. So that was it for the try-on portion. Let me just set my face super quickly. I didn't buy a setting spray. I was gonna buy the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Setting Spray. And then I was like, get real Ashley. Pretty much all you use is the Morphe Setting Spray or um, the Maven Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray, which I'm not done with. So I was like, I'll just get like a cheaper, like Milani or Elf one. Like this is just one that I love using more often than anything else because it's just so easy. I was actually gonna buy this perfume on its own. And then at the front display this morning, I saw this gift set and I was like, done, perfect. So this is the YSL Libre perfume. Now I will say, I recommend the Eau de Parfum as opposed to Eau de Toilette. Yes, the perfume is a little bit more expensive, but it's gonna last a little bit longer. And I personally think it smells better. I think you get the true like Libre like experience with that one. The dry down on the toilet is a little bit more strange, a little bit more like florally and not as like, I don't know, it's just, it's not as good in my opinion. So um, I was really excited to see this. The value is $110 and it's $88 as opposed to, basically if you get just the one ounce perfume, um, the one fluid ounce perfume, that's $80. So you pay $8 more and then you get a travel set too. This gift set is plastic free, made of 100% cardboard sourced from sustainably managed forests. Oh, I love that YSL, great. Okay, so this is a cute little box. Again, this would make a great gift. Look at this packaging, absolutely immaculate. Like this looks so nice and I would personally love unboxing something like this. I mean, hell, I bought it for myself and I'm enjoying unboxing in here for you guys on camera. Um, I don't know what the notes are, but I will leave the notes on screen for you guys to see right here. Look how beautiful this bottle is. I always like purchasing the one fluid ounce one because I like trying out different ones, but this smells so nice. It's like orangey and ambery. This is like a fancy woman. This is like the perfect night out perfume. It's like so warm and sexy and so amazing. And I'm going to put it right here. So that was that. I'm super excited. And then we've got three more items, folks, hanging there. Um, I got the Sol de Janeiro Rio Dio deodorant, and this was the last one they had on display. So I'm so happy I snagged it up. And this is actually a relatively new product. I think it came out a couple months ago. Sol de Janeiro makes the classic bum bum scent or boom boom scent. I have the foot cream, I have the chapstick, I have the fragrance right there that I've spoken about before. It's aluminum free, which I only use aluminum free deodorant. So I was super enthralled when I saw this because I was like, hell yes, this is something I can get on board with. And I love the packaging, look how pretty this is. It's so cute. This is $16, which I know people say, and it is a lot of money for a deodorant, but I personally, I've been using my Kopari deodorant I got two years ago. I don't wear deodorant every day, I'm gonna be honest, because I'm working from home and I don't really need to wear deodorant when I'm home working. This is um, something that I will definitely be using and you know, you get your money's worth and you do pay a little bit more for the ingredients and stuff, so. Oh my God, it smells so good. And honestly, I was a little bit apprehensive. I was like, should I buy this? Like, is it gonna be too like specific to like summer? But no, this is something that I will definitely be enjoying year round. Let me tell you. Holy cow, 10 out of 10, yes. Um, it's got citric acid, ester to eliminate odor, papaya enzyme to help even skin tone and fight ingrown hairs, coconut oil and mango sea butter to soften, smooth and moisturize. It's cruelty free, paraben free, all that good stuff. And um, I am so excited to try this and see how well it helps 
make me not sweat. Because keep in mind, the difference between an antiperspirant and a deodorant is that a deodorant won't necessarily make you stop sweating. It'll just deodorize the sweat that comes out because it doesn't have the aluminum in it to like block the pores, um, which can be potentially dangerous and uh, make you more at risk for developing breast cancer potentially. So I personally like to, I like using that. Oh my God, I'm a dodo bird. I totally forgot to show you guys. I got so excited putting the uh, um, perfume on my shelf that I forgot to show you. Literally, the whole reason why I got the gift set was a travel size. I mean, God, this is so difficult to pull out of the, I don't want to ruin my nails, which by the way, I painted my nails red because Red Taylor's version came out this Friday or last Friday. Uh, what's your favorite song? Um, I literally have not stopped playing all to all time in a version. Like literally, I'm not. And I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan. All of my friends know this. And Red was the soundtrack to my high school senior year. I would drive to school in my Nissan Versa, listening to the Red album, like as a CD, like in my car. And I still actually have the album in my, um, I have like, I keep the album cases and the covers. And anyway, so I love it. I also love Message and Bottle, But You Think About Me. All of all tracks on this album are 10 out of 10. What are your guys' thoughts if you are a Swifty? Let me know in the comments below. Anywho. This is just a travel version and I personally am very thankful for this because when I travel or if I go to like a friend's house or stay over somewhere, I like to be able to carry a small version with me. And yeah, I got the Inkyless Sussing Acid Acne Treatment. This has salicylic acid. It's basically like your salicylic acid treatment. And salicylic acid is a great um, product to help fight pimples, that and pencil peroxide. But this Inkyless is such an affordable brand. They make really good products, basically like they're very affordable but they're mainly like kind of like the ordinary i think their products are mainly just like very concentrated um just formulas which i think are great and they're effective i have their alpha arbutin i use their retinol um i've tried a few different ones i use their niacinamide every morning and i really enjoy it so i love that sephora gives you kind of a nice budget friendly option in addition to the ordinary um but it says it's a non-drying easily absorbed cream formulated with succinct acid i don't know if i'm saying that right a bio-based chemical derived from corn. Okay, helps clear blemishes fast, gently exfoliates skin cells and decreases oil levels. So I love that it's a small tube, honestly, because then I can travel with it. Oh, oh, it comes out green. How interesting. Cool, I am excited to try that. And this was $8.99, so under $10, very affordable. Last but not least, it is my birthday month. It's my birthday next week. Oh my God, it's my birthday next week. Oh my God, it's next week because it's Sunday when I'm filming this. It's next week. I'm gonna be 26. Still in the peak of my quarter life crisis, in case anybody's wondering. All my friends are like getting married, having kids. Um, anywho, <laughs> uh, I got my Sephora Beauty Insider birthday gift. Um, they had an option to choose between either the little NARS gift set or the Laneige one, and I chose Laneige because I love their lip sleeping mask. And again, these are all cute little things you can travel with. Um, and I've always wanted to travel with a lip sleeping mask, so I love that. I love that you also get a water sleeping mask as well. I probably won't be using this one as often. And then you also get a water bank moisturizing cream, which I will definitely be using this. So yeah. All right, everybody, that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my roundup of the products I picked out during this four VIB sale. I will say probably my favorite things like off the top of my head, if I had to just really like rapid fire. I love the Kosas brow gel. I love this Kosas lip oil. I love the powder, um, even though the chunky texture is fine because it's giving me such a nice, smooth finish, and I love it. Love the Too Faced lipstick. The blush is amazing. Pretty much everything I got is a hit, honestly. I'm excited to try this deodorant. Sunscreen's good, and yeah, if anything changes, my opinions change, or I really, really love something, I will definitely mention it in a future video. But yeah, please let me know in the comments below what you picked up during the sale. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to please give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.